So, um, just to recap on what we did in, uh, in August, 1st of August, um, I showed everyone the clusters, the soft portable fitness solution in a bag. Well, uh, these are the bags here, and these are the clusters. I showed the magnetic properties. You can see that they hold together, so you can add and subtract the weights uh, without putting anything on a bar or anything. I uh, showed that the bags were easy opening, they're Velcro, you can just open and close them very easily, and uh, how versatile they are. You can replace dumbbells, kettlebells, all of those sandbags and medicine balls. All you need is this one product. Uh, I also showed there were multiple markets, kids, seniors, disabled, etc. And on the financial side, I showed um, how I used my business loan from Opportunities Credit Union, uh, a very good credit union. They uh, are what the name suggests. They provide opportunity. They helped me get my prototypes made. Um, I showed my costings with profit margins how I would use the capital investment and my diverse team. Uh, that's uh, me at the top, my wife sitting back there. She uh, keeps everything running very smoothly. Um, I forgot to mention somebody in uh, England, Andrew Wakelin. He's the uh, head of finance, uh, very capable, worked for uh, Lloyd's Banking Group, uh, ended up running, uh, uh, heading up 150,000 people. So uh, very capable hands there. And that was the end of my presentation <laughs> back then. Okay, so what's changed? Uh, I've started a Kickstarter crowdfund campaign and on your seats you should have seen a small piece of paper so take a look at that. Um, we're uh, starting to do a filming of um, special needs kids working with the other kids in the schools to uh, develop exercises for them. Uh, we have our first order. I am a startup, so we have our first order from my gym in Virginia and uh, Equinox Hotel Fitness Center in, Mas in Manchester, Vermont. That's where I'm living at the moment. Uh, in the hotel, uh, they've, they've expressed interest in the balls, but also to sell them in their little boutique, so that's very nice. <clears throat> Potential collaboration with the Vermont Teddy Bear Company with an aim to manufacture the balls and fulfill orders within the United States. Currently, I have a manufacturer in China, but I'd like to keep that on uh, local soil. So that would be a, a really nice thing for me. We're just um, looking into the possibilities, the viability. Um, and then uh, I'm looking into better materials all the time. And I think I've found some that's even better than what I have. So uh, all the riders, thank you very much for your feedback. Uh, the first feedback that you gave was focus on one market to start. Uh, so more financial projections more business, less product, and find fitness guru to endorse. Those were some of the comments that you gave me. So, the first one, focus on one target market. Well, I'm not gonna do the kids or the elderly as the focus. I'm gonna do gyms and fitness centers. Why? Credibility and legitimacy. If you see a product in a fitness center, it lends credibility automatically. Uh, gyms buy bulk for classes, so if they run 10 different classes, 30 different people, they'll need these balls to, to run those classes. Large chains and franchises, so many of these are. Uh, many of these are connected, you know, like uh, Planet Fitness has, I think, 1,000 different sites around the US. And, um, well, if you buy for one, then the others are more likely to follow. <clears throat> And uh, they encompass all these demographics. So the kids in my gyms, the elderly in the YMCA's, or the silver sneakers. So you'll be reaching, I'd be reaching all of those. Uh, they do all their own marketing and sales. So I, I can piggyback their efforts to get clusters better known. These are some of the financials. Uh, this is, uh, these are summaries made. Um, we can talk about that in more depth in the questions if you're interested. 
um, more business, so I've got some very good uh, business mentors. Uh, so Peggy Dannenbaum, uh, you can read those things. Chris Marsh, very successful. Uh, global branding, Susanna Labonda. Yep. And I do have a fitness guru. I'm speaking with other fitness gurus uh, as well. So the crowdfunding, why did I start with crowdfunding? To generate a little capital, but also for market validation, get the brand out there, rallying support uh, from other potential collaborators and uh, find out what works. So uh, it's non-equity based, the one that I've done. It's uh, rewards based, started September uh, 20th, ends on the 24th. So we've pre-sold, uh, well it's gone up slightly, but um, uh, around over $8,000 so far. And uh, the key demographic, interestingly, is women between the age of 35 and 44. And the good news is you can still make a pledge. Thank you. Okay, well, I can do that most easily with a, a slight demonstration. Tell me if I'm uh, speaking loudly enough. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so this is the basic product. It's uh, iron shot filled with, oops, <laughs> filled with magnets, and the product sticks together. You can um, put them all in a bag, and the bag is really easy to open and close. You just throw them in, boom, and it's there. You can use it as a kettlebell. You can do all those exercises with it. You can put both of these uh, that come in a set into a backpack. And that's very portable, obviously, it's a backpack. <laughs> they fit inside and you can uh, lie down on that if you want. You can do your exercises. <laughs> Uh, and you can do that in a suit. <laughs> Thanks. Kyle. As far as I know, magnets are relatively expensive, especially ones that hold a lot of weight. What, what does it cost you to make these things relative to what you're selling, for example, on Kickstarter? For? Okay, so in the balls, there are two neodymium magnets, N35s. I can get those for about 25 cents, 25 to 30 cents, depending on. Jeez, that's <laughs> getting up and down here. Uh, depending on the time of year, uh, around uh, Chinese New Year, most magnets are made in China. Uh, it goes up a little bit, but marginally, it costs about three cents more per magnet. Um, so to make a ball, um, it costs about three dollars uh, fifty cents. And I'm selling them at the moment on the Kickstarter for $12.50. Um, I've sold almost 500 of those. Um, the wholesale price would be closer to $6.50. So probably uh, 10 retail eventually. Bob. So if you buy that, that's your product, is it? Yeah. So if, you, if I were to buy that, what would that cost? Okay, so. To make this, uh, it cost me $133. If you're buying it wholesale, that's $240. Uh, retail, $300. So that's a cost of goods sold, 55% uh, and 44%. It's very easy to store, and a lot of gyms like to go out on boot camp type exercises. And this is very practical. If you live in an area where it's sunny most of the time, you want to be on the beach, it's great. Yep. Do the magnets lose their magnetism if you drop them on the ground? Never. No, these are um, rare earth neodymium magnets. Uh, it's not like the ones that you charge up with iron. These are, this, they will just hold their magnetism forever. And, and your deal with the fitness guru, Cola, Mr. Cola? Mr. Koga. Koga. Uh, Kickbox yoga, right? That's all right. So what, what is he, what's your deal with him? Is that like a royalty deal? Or 
Um, it's not a it's not a deal. He endorses it. He he absolutely loves it, and he wants to almost piggyback the the movement that Clusters is making in order to uh, you know combine his brand with mine. Dave. Yes, in fact, I, <laughs> I have my IP guy uh, in the audience at the moment, uh, local from uh, Downs Racklin Martin, uh, Morgan Heller. Uh, so we've submitted a, um, a second filing uh, on July 24th this year, and we're just going through the process of refining all those documents. Yes? Well, have you given any thought to partnering with an existing fitness equipment manufacturer like Freecore or Cybex or someone like that that could take on the manufacturing distribution? You've clearly done a lot of design work. Yes. Um, I've definitely thought about it. I mean, it's kind of fun to do this, so I'm, I'm doing it as I'm doing it uh, for the moment. But I, I'm not shutting out any uh, sort of licensing types deals or uh, anything. Open to discussion. Any other questions? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Roland.